today. Who do we have? We have Grace Chua, of course, from badminton. This is going to be a badminton-themed week, of course. We also have our Athletes Game Show coming up that's also badminton-themed. So do stay tuned to that. But first up, we have Grace, yeah. who's joined us. Yeah, um, obviously won bronze recently in the 2019 SEA Games. But we were doing a little bit of research on her, and she is a medical student now. It is tough for any athlete to juggle just normal school. I mean, when, when I was growing up, secondary school, tertiary, and then juggling sport. But to be a medical student and juggling proper badminton training, that must be tough. Grace, welcome to the show. You've got to tell us a little bit about this. How tough has it been so far, juggling sport and being a medical student? Hello, thanks for having me today. So yeah, it's been really tough because I mean, from the beginning, most people said that it wouldn't be possible to balance both um, studies and sports, and especially since I was going into medical school. But still, I, I pressed on and I would train at night compared to the rest of the national team, which, which would train in the morning and afternoon. And then, um, yeah, I'll train at night. And in the mornings before I go to school, I will add in a, like a short physical workout. Sometimes at the gym, sometimes just outside my house before I head to school. So, yeah, I mean, overall, it's been pretty tough. I mean, just to balance everything. But I'm glad so far it's, been, it's worked out fine. How, how have you been able to, you know, juggle those, those two aspects and not sacrifice, like, social life, hanging out with friends? Or have you had to, like, limit that to, to some extent? Yeah, there, there usually is a trade-off, isn't yeah. there? I mean. uh, yeah, I guess there is a trade-off. I mean... To be honest, I would say I, I, I don't have much of a social life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so, um, yeah, basically, it's mostly just um, studies and sports. Then once in a while, I'll do meet up with my friends. But, I mean, I limit it to maybe, like, once in two weeks or something. So, yeah, no choice. Plus, I, I mean, okay, I travel quite far to um, NTU. So, my, my rides, my train rides are, like, all in uh, one and a half hours. So wow. I'll use this time to study on the train. Wow. Yeah. Even on the go, she's studying. No, that's, no, that's, no rest for, yeah. for those who are really, really determined to make it to the top, isn't it? Well, that's, that's, that's a sign of a top athlete, isn't it? The, the sheer determination and, and, and discipline yeah. in carrying out every... It's like everything is on a routine even. Yeah. And, and you, you've also, I mean, you, you've been juggling school, as, as you mentioned, but you've been to the SEA Games. You've, uh, you've been to the Commonwealth Games as well. You've done, done decently well in those competitions uh, as well. Like, where do you see your career progressing to right now as a badminton player in Singapore? Um, for me, okay, I went for Commonwealth Games before I started medical school. So actually, I, I went for Commonwealth Games when I was still training full-time. So at that time, I, I graduated from junior college and then I told myself I wanted to try full-time before I started uni. And so, uh, yeah, I gave myself the aim to try and qualify and go for Commonwealth Games, which I did. And then after that, then I, I started medical school. And so it's, it's been, I said, I went in in 2018, so it's been about two years. And at the start of medical school, my aim was to qualify for SEA Games last year because in Singapore actually actually everyone in our in our national team is a full-time player so like they didn't really they they said it wasn't really possible for someone to be in uni but somehow I mean somehow it happened and I, I'm glad I managed to go for SEA Games last year and so from here henceforth I'm not sure how things will be because I'm starting year three uh, in the new semester and it will get much busier with like clinical postings so I just have to take things as it comes alright interesting we're, yeah we're going to talk a bit now a bit more on the C games you've been to three C games mm. you've gotten yeah. three team bronzes of course that means you've also been to uh, these uh, Singapore C games the KLC games yeah. if I'm not wrong and then last year's Philippine C games maybe you can share a bit more with us and talk us through the differences although you, you, the, uh, it was team bronze across all three, but how has the team evolved over the last three SEA Games? Oh, wow. Actually, each SEA Games was very different, even though we had a bronze in each. Mm. I'll say the first SEA Games was 
it was very memorable for me because it was my game's debut. But in terms of winning the bronze, I wouldn't say care of them. We wouldn't. We didn't really win it because we started in the semi-finals. So we were kind of handed the bronze. Mm. I mean, we didn't win it per se. But like, but for the ones in KL and Philippines, it was very different. Like in KL, we we won Vietnam, and that was a really close fight. I mean, it was something we worked hard the whole year because we knew that Vietnam was very strong. And I can still remember the night before I couldn't even sleep because it was just a very, it was a very tense and yeah, it was a very tense match between Vietnam and it's something that we all wanted to win. Yet we knew it was tough. And then in terms of the Philippines one, uh, that was also very different because, to be honest, I didn't expect to play. I was the third single. I had full confidence in my teammates that we would be able to uh, win it without reaching the last match. But somehow, yeah, we did reach the last match and then my match became the decider. And I was, yeah, I was very nervous before my match because... I mean, everything came down to my to my match, whether we would all walk away with a medal or not. But yeah, I mean, I thank God he gave me the courage and the confidence to go in strong and we managed to win that. So that was that was a very memorable moment for me as well. <laughs> I can I can imagine like putting being put on the spotlight spotlight on Team Singapore being put under pressure uh, to to play in the decider. What was the emotion when you did clinch the bronze within you? <laughs> it's like a moment of relief. I was just so happy because yeah, I just felt so much pressure before that. Like everyone was counting on me to win this last point, and if we didn't, it was like. Well, then we will all just go home empty-handed and yeah, so I mean, I, I didn't want to think about the pressure but naturally it just got into me and so when I won, I yeah, okay, it was kind of dramatic. I mean, I fell to my my knees and all that but yeah, I was just really, really happy. Was that the clip that you actually sh- uh, would do that was played yeah. I mean, earlier on? You just showed yeah, because that was that the, the Singapore played. support, the flags, the fans and uh, the support did play a big part as well, didn't it? I yeah, mean, the support and, and was really good because, I mean, the Philippines home crowd was crazy. Yeah. And, like, whether I win the point or I lose the point, they kept shouting. And so, as yeah, and then so our Singapore contingent was quite small, but they really shouted very loud. And so their support was, was, really, what, was really what helped me through. Raw as one, as the Team Singapore campaign would yeah. say. And everyone can play their part as a 12 men in supporting our Team Singapore athletes. New Milo Gao Siu Dai, less sugar with whole grain cereal. Get the goodness of whole grains with more fiber and protein. The healthier breakfast choice. We're going to have a look now at some of the home workouts mm. that Grace has been doing as part of her training as well during this period while being stuck at home. Uh, and uh, Grace, if you don't mind, we'll need your help to talk us through uh, this series of your workouts. And yeah, basically, I, I, I reckon it should be part of the training that has been catered for you as well. Okay, so we are seeing these lunges from you. I mean, yeah. it's just to work on the quads, these isn't are, it? <laughs> yeah, these are part of our, they call it strength endurance training. and But for me, I just call it circuit because it's when you do the, you do the actions for 30 seconds and then you rest for 15 seconds okay. and then you proceed to the next action. That looks tough, man. Yeah. That looks tough. I mean, I mean, your, it, your quads must be burning it, by it, then. It reminds me a bit of the, 
challenge we did this week. The chair pose. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, this, and this is the Russian twist. Yeah, same thing. It's part of the circuit. Another one of the, the eight stations. So I do it for, yeah, 30 seconds. You seem to have a pretty good layout of equipment yeah. here. Are they from SSI or did you like get your own equipment to bring home? Uh, the weights are my own. Then the vest I'm wearing is the yeah the heavy vest I'm wearing yeah, is also my like, own. Like but the ropes vest. I borrowed from my coach. Wow, yeah. huge difference, huh? Well, and this you're just hitting uh, yeah hitting uh, it this, against the wall. For this right? particular yeah. video, we noticed there were also crowd chants and uh, screams. Was that a way of training your uh, your in your like a match uh, to give you a, like a, a feel of a real match, or is it just by coincidence? Oh, really? I didn't know. <laughs> oh, were you I'm playing something sure in the background? Like in-game experience? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was just me hitting the wall. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah I was just hitting the... Because, yeah, I haven't really hit the shuttle, like, properly. So, this is the only way I could, yeah, do it, like, hitting against the wall. Do but I was like... also very scared that my neighbors would complain. Yeah, I was going to ask, like, do you have, like, neighbors <laughs> just coming down the staircase there and, like, they'll be looking at you like, hey, what's this girl doing? Yeah, no, unfortunately, I'm quite happy that they didn't. But like each time I do it, I'm just so scared. Then sometimes I'll try to hit lighter. But if I hit lighter, then you don't really get the feel. Oh. So I don't know. I'm like caught in between. <laughs> oh, like I want to hit harder, but I'm so scared they'll complain. Because the wall that you're hitting is not your own house one, is it your neighbor's house? Oh, it, it is. But like there's a sound spread because I'm at the, the staircase landing. So I oh. think like people upstairs, downstairs, everywhere can hear. Yeah, I see. I mean, we did have a similar situation where we saw basketball. Yeah. Yeah. And, this, and these are ropes, I reckon, that you also brought home? Yeah, these are the ropes. I borrowed them from my coach. Yeah, so I think it's very useful. Like, I can train my arms and can do... And yeah, I can do a lot of things with the ropes. So this was also part of the circuit training. Battle Working, ropes. 30 seconds, rest, 15 seconds. Okay. Oh, very interesting. Yeah. It was pretty, uh, pretty much a uh, uh, full body workout. I, I mean, your legs, the upper body, arms. And uh, MC oh, for the yeah. Russian twist, uh, it, it's pretty good. Uh, so Grace, I mean, uh, that was amazing, Grace. <laughs> uh, so for all the the workouts that that you, you've, you've shown, what we like to do on evenings with John and Duncan is we like the athlete to challenge one of us um, to try out that home based workout. And um, yeah, just wondering um, which workout first of all that you want us to try out, and then. Your, it's your decision, purely your decision uh, for you to choose wh which of us you would want to challenge. And I mean, I really, I, I'm really enjoying this conversation yeah, with you. You don't, you don't so need to feel bad for choosing Duncan just because... I mean, <laughs> you don't have to just feel because. bad. Why? Why even risk it? So, okay, which is the challenge that uh, you want one, one of us to try out first? Uh, you can try out the circuit training. Yeah. I think it's pretty tough, but it's really good. And it's I like it also because it's time efficient. Yeah, so you don't need to spend very long on it, but you will get your heart pumping. So which particular exercise? Oh, um, how about the lunges? Since oh, you said lunges, it uh, tough, 30 so seconds, right? I think 30, you should try 30, 30 it. 30 yeah, seconds 30 seconds of lunges. Uh. Okay, uh, all right. Um, so John, I mean, I know you're very fit, so <laughs> there shouldn't be any issue for you. Um, <laughs> so Grace, who, who are you challenging? for this particular hmm. lunch challenge? I don't know. Have any of you done it before? Like lunges? I feel like uh, this answer is... depend. My <laughs> answer would be very dependent on how she'll make a decision here. Yeah. Um, I have. You know, I have. I've done it before, so... Yeah. Yeah, I've done it before, so... I mean, <laughs> would it work on me to challenge me? I don't know. Mm, okay, I'll choose... Duncan, since you're the one who said that the lunges look pretty hard. <laughs> the reverse psychology did not work it. at all. <laughs> There's a reason why I kept quiet. Uh. There's a reason why I kept quiet. Starting now. Episode, I like to test John with terminology 
on the particular sport uh, that, that we are featuring. So it's badminton. I have four badminton terminologies, Grace. Uh, you may know them, and uh, I'm going to test John. If he knows, if he doesn't, I will see if you know, and then maybe you could explain it uh, to John. So I'm just taken out of the picture, right? So let's start with a very easy one, okay? So in terms of the badminton context, what does it mean when I say, oh, look, a bird? A bird? Hmm. A bird, a bird. Uh, something to do with scoring or a particular shot, a kind of shot. Do you know the answer, Grace? Mm, I think they would call the shuttlecock like a bird or a birdie. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, so I told you, it started with an easy one. That's just another name for the shuttlecock, a bird. Interesting. Yeah. Learned something new today. Second one, okay. Very fashionable at the moment. What is a dab? A dab? In badminton context, yes. A dab? Yeah, in badminton oh, context. Oh, it's a kind of shot. I'm just going to have Actually, it is. it is. It is a, it kind, is a kind of, of shot. shot. But the way that you did it, I don't think it's the right execution of it. Do you know what a dab is, Grace? Uh, a dab is like that. Uh. Yeah, honestly, I Actually, do not this, know. Yeah, you, you're quite accurate. Actually, John, you're getting so very, very close. So dabbing into something. The, the definition of a dab shot in badminton is a crisp downward stroke using minimal backswing, but with excessive follow-through played in the forecourt zone. So it's like, very oh. hard. So it's like, ah. dab. <laughs> okay. Paul Pogba, See? check that out. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> on, the, <laughs> on the theme of birds, what does it mean when I say, oh man, John, that's a dead bird. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is obsessed with birds. Dead bird means the shuttlecock has been used many times and the thing that it, the the feather is coming out, is it? No. No. <laughs> That's a good guess. What is a dead bird, Grace? Uh I've not heard it before, but I'm just guessing like maybe the shuttlecock hit the ground even like without even crossing the net. Like I don't know, you hit it down uh, or something. Not really. It's when you hit a shuttle oh. out of play, it's just call a dead bird. Out of play. Yeah, <laughs> so it just goes bird. out of play. It's out. Oh, so that's a that's a dead bird. Ah, mm. okay. Okay. Final one. All right. And, and, and it brings a tear to my eye to say this to you. Um, I mean, I think we're in a divorce area. <laughs> what does that mean in badminton? Divorce area? Yeah. Uh, um, it's quite technical. It, it sounds incredibly technical. Uh, divorce area, it's something to do with the courts. Some part of the court. Divorce area means separation area, separated area. It's pretty good. You're doing pretty good on this one. I have to say, of all the, the other, you know, you know, I, terminologies I that you've done, you're in some doing others. pretty well. Yeah. Uh, do you know the exact definition of a divorce area, Grace? No, I don't. Oh, actually, John, you know, you know more about this. Yeah. It's, uh, so it's, it's crazy, when yes. the divorce area refers to uh, a narrow rectangle, 8 to 11 feet from the net. So the area is situated between the rear court and the forecourt mm -hmm. and between the sidelines. So it's it's in that awkward area. So that's called the divorce area. <laughs> that awkward area. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Interesting. So interesting. it's like neither, it's neither here nor there. La. Yeah. Uh, so we have to get a divorce. Yeah. yeah. It's like a lot of our jokes are also neither here nor there. <laughs> but that's why sometimes people want to divorce hey, themselves this, from you, our jokes. You, would, but you, you did really well <laughs> on that one. Quite accurate, and on, on and you got the guesses really right. I think you're getting better at it. Uh. Thank you. Or you're reading me With better. With much maybe. practice. Looking forward to some success, and hopefully she can be part of that, as well as a sports doctor, as maybe a medalist in the Olympics one day for <laughs> Singapore. Who knows? That's that's my 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 goal for you, Grace. Wow, yeah. the very huge goal. <laughs> Well, no pressure there, but it's certainly something that I mean, we always want to see yeah. our Team Singapore athletes doing well in every competition that they compete in, isn't it? And um, I mean, it's the same. And we do know it is a very tough road being athlete, needing to sacrifice so much, your social life, as you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, but you do have the support of not just us, but I do believe we speak on behalf of the rest of Singapore as well. And we'll certainly look forward to seeing you in competition again once sports events are back online mm -hmm. and yeah exciting times ahead now, thank you so much for, for joining us Grace and uh, like, I, like, like as we both said hopefully we see you soon on the court in action and uh, I mean we'll, we'll be there to if not cover at least cheer you on okay, thank you John thank you Duncan thanks no for problem. having me no problem at all take care stay safe bye take care
All right, so that's not the end of it. with John and Duncan because we have a special Get Active with Milo segment and we have another Team Singapore athlete to showcase uh, a, a workout. John, and who do we have? That's right. It's our eight-minute workout segment with Milo. And today, we have Constance Lian who will be leading the Get Active with Milo segment. Enjoy your workout. Hi, welcome to Get Active with Milo. I'm Constance and today we're going to be doing an 8 minute MRAP workout. So MRAP meaning as many rounds as possible. Okay, so first what you need is a mat, bottle of water, towel and probably a timer. You can get your phone. Time, time yourself for 8 minutes. Okay, set the timer for 8 minutes and then I'll show you guys what to do. We have 4 exercises for this 8 minute M reps and then repeat the, M, the workouts as many, repeat the exercises as many rounds as possible and then we'll see, challenge yourself and we'll see where we end up. Okay, so I got my timer here. I'm going to set it for 8 minutes. Okay, so before we move on to the workout, I'm going to show you guys what we're going to be doing. So for exercises, first exercise, we're going to do high knees, okay? High knees, try to bring your knees up as high as possible. After high knees, we're going to be doing 20 jump lunges. So 20 times of this, right and left is two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 20 times, followed by six blasts of push-ups. So you go into push-up position, okay? You're gonna go, you're gonna move back, and then move front, push-up. Move back, move front, push-up. Move back, move front, push-up. After that, you're gonna do bare puppies. So from standing position, you're gonna jump down to a high plank, jump into a bare, push, burpee, a bare position, then you're gonna do a push-up, or don't do a push-up, just hold it there, jump back out, and then jump back up. Okay, so again, you're gonna jump to a high plank, jump to a bare position, do a push-up, or you can just hold it here, jump to high plank, and jump back up. Okay, so this is your four exercises. When you're done with eight minutes, towel off and see how many rounds you have done, okay? So we're gonna start, I'm gonna set my timer, I got 10 seconds to get ready. So we're going to start with high knees. 20 of them. Okay, 4, 3, 2, 1. 20 high knees. <laughs> 10 jump lunges. <laughs> 6 blast off push ups. Make sure you really go down as low as possible. Once you're done with six muscle push-ups, you're from standing position. Jump in, push up, jump out, jump up. Jump down, push up, jump out, jump up, six times. 
If you can't do a push up, again, just hold it there, jump out, jump back up. Jump as high as you can, like a regular burpee. Back to 20 high knees. I got seven minutes, one minute down. Jump lunges, 10. Then, Six blasts of push-ups. Really power through when you go forward for the push-up. Bear puppies. Keep going. Remember, as many rounds as possible. If you guys get tired, just take a break and then get back into it. Give it your best effort. I'm on my third round, guys. Make sure you keep track of your rounds. Push ups. Back up, bever piece. Hope you guys are pushing yourself. Give me six of these. Got four minutes. We're halfway. Get low on those jump lunges. If you guys can't do jump lunges, modify it with shuffles. 10 times. Go to a push up position, push back, push up, push back, push up. Don't worry if you guys can't do the full blast or push ups. Just go on your knees, move back, push up, move back. Push up six times. Beber bees. Almost there, guys. Hang in there. It's only an eight minute workout. Push yourself as much as possible. I got two more minutes, guys. Keep going.
Bad puppies. Again, remember, the modified version, you can just hold it here, jump out, jump up. You don't have to do a push-up if you can't. I got one minute. I'm going to squeeze everything I have in those one minute. In that one minute. Last round. I'm going to try to squeeze these four exercises in the last round. Got 30 seconds. Got 20. Got 10. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, so I think I did three and a half rounds, I think. Yeah. So I hope you guys had a great workout. Thanks for joining me. Phew. Well, really worked up a sweat just watching that from Constance. Thanks so much for uh, showcasing that eight-minute workout, Get Active with Milo. And that will be a, th a theme that will, will carry on uh, every Monday and uh, Friday on yeah. evenings with John and Duncan. That's right. So it's Monday with Team Singapore Athletes and Friday with Sport Singapore Fitness Ambassadors. Stay tuned for more workouts with Milo on Evenings with John and Duncan. We'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.